Because I know that his name is Jonathan, but I don't I don't actually know what his YouTube channel is. So I'm, I'm gonna fill that in later after he responds to my email. In which I asked him what his YouTube name is. Happy Saturday, everybody. It's Saturday, January 8th. Welcome to Greg Answers Questions. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the first week of 2011. Someone asked me, and I forget who, but uh, maybe a couple of you had asked me if I had any New Year's resolutions. I, uh, I, I, I kind of rarely make them, but I just kind of have general resolutions. You know, I will tell you this. I met uh, actor um, Robert Forster with uh, my buddy Chris and I met Robert Forster years ago. And Chris had seen an interview in which Robert Forster said, uh, be excellent every day. And he asked him about that. He said, well, what, you know, what exactly do you mean by that? And, and Robert Forster said, you know, no matter what you do for a living, whether you're a janitor or whatever you do as a person, be excellent every day. I think that's a wonderful way to live, and I hope I, I wish that for all of you. I, hope, I wish that you could all be excellent every day, and I think that you can, because it's all in here and how you how you treat your friends and your loved ones. So there you go. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about a couple things. First of all, tonight uh, my episode of Eight Dates, which is Matt Koval's new series, is going to go up on his channel. Go on over, subscribe to Matt Koval. Uh, he makes some funny stuff. He, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the Fooplers, but he also, this new series, Eight Dates, is really good, and he worked with a lot of other YouTubers on it. And my episode goes up tonight, so as soon as, as soon as that's up, I'll put the link there for you. Uh, oh, and also, I, I mentioned uh, Annoying Orange to you, I think, last month, that I'd done an Annoying Orange episode. That episode's been delayed probably till the end of January. So, as soon as that comes up, I'll let you know where you can see that. But I've already made a behind the scenes video for that, so um, when that goes up, I'll put the behind the scenes video up on this channel. Let's get to the questions. Goat Chunk, which is a great username, asks, if there's a clown, who would win? I think everyone would win. If there's a, I mean, seriously, if there's a clown, wouldn't everybody win? It actually reminds me of something that I saw recently on the street, and here's a video to prove it. I've never seen a car with only one clown in it. Ah! Oh, you gotta love clowns. You gotta love them. Uh, the the Shug channel asks, Hi Greg, do angels fart? You know, my grampies used to say to me, Every time something smells bad, that means the angel has a farted. That's, I, I don't even know what grampies means. I don't really, I didn't, never had a grampies. But I think every time, just remember that. Whenever you smell something bad and you don't know what it is, just think that there's an angel there who has farted. Those are some those are some nasty angels have the worst farts. Blizz I Blizz Iced. Blizz Iced has asked, Hi Greg, what do you prefer? A donut or a slice of pizza? That is an excellent question because they're both so good. I, I actually can't decide between the two. I never have been able to decide. Well, look, I mean here here's an example. I mean, I I, I this is what I always do. I just put a donut on the pizza and Mmm. Mmm. That's horrible. That's, that's awful. I, yes, just for, just for you guys. I went and I got a pizza and a donut. But they're, they're terrible together. Maybe I made a mistake. I shouldn't have gotten a, um, a mushrooms on the mushrooms and donut with sugar. Mmm, that's not, that's not good. Davis! D D Davis 951 says, um, I like potatoes. Okay, not a question, but I like potatoes too. The 7 Jason 7 says, I saw a traffic cone. Llama with a mullet says, I'm a llama. Okay, these are not questions. And, and furthermore, no, you're not. The llamas can't type. And you know what? I'm going to give you a call. I'm, I'm going to prove right now that you are not a llama. Once and for all. Hello? 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 Yes, are you a llama? Yes, of course I'm a llama. Wow, my apologies. I didn't... I, I did not realize that. 
I'm I'm embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Hello, hello. Wow. I uh, I don't know what to say. I didn't didn't realize that you were actually a llama. Now I boy, is there egg on my face? No, it's just a little little powdered sugar and maybe a bit of mushroom. You're a weird man, Greg. Says serpentine as ser, serp serp serpentines are cute. Uh, you're a weird man, Greg, yet I am paradoxically attracted to your aura of mischief. That's, that's also not a question, but I like the way you talk. So I wanted to just share that. Thank you for that comment. Okay, here's a question. Now we're back to questions. Rabid Canuck says, What hockey team do you like? And if so, what did you eat? Look, I, I appreciate that I have fans worldwide, but I'm, I, I can only answer questions in English. And I, I apologize, but I, I really, there are, I'm not answering a lot in this video. I'm really just reading some nonsense. Okay, here's an actual question. Possum Cuber, which is I, another confusing but wonderful uh, username, says, how awkward is the sex between you and your wife? That is a fantastic question. Uh, I appreciate that question. You know, I was thinking about it, and if... If there were someone, like a couple of people, having sex between me and my wife, that would be awkward. Because we'd be like, hello, we're trying to eat dinner here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And finally, I'm keeping today's video short, can you tell? Finally, Funky Robot Monkey was the first person to ask, hey, Greg, can you get your dog's ears pierced? And then everybody asked it. Everybody wanted to know if I could get my dog's ears pierced. Everybody was just saying, I'm dying to know. Can you get your dog's ears pierced? No. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I hope that you have a, a wonderful weekend. And, um, you know, one, one, one last thing I'll leave you with. I know that you guys like to, or some of you, maybe about a third of you, like to click on the, uh, you know, the hidden videos. And I, I often tell you that you will regret clicking on them. And then, you know, inevitably, a bunch of you leave messages saying, you know, I did not regret that at all. I'm so glad that I saw that. Well, you know what? This time, this time I'm going to give you something that I think that you, re I think you really will regret clicking on. Excuse me, I've got a phone call. Um, oh, it's my wife. Have a uh, great weekend, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Kim's on her way home. She went out this morning, but she's coming back. We're going to go have some fun. Hi, sweetie. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. No problem. Okay. Love you, sweetie. See you soon. Bye. I don't do much talking when she calls. I just listen and say, okay. That's a husband's job. It's got sugar on it. Ugh. Hello. Hello. Hello.